The best way to get people to think outside the box is not to create the box in the first place. Whenever you create a universal device that does all things for all people, it does not do any things well. When I was young, the concept of being a dreamer was a very negative one. If you were a dreamer, you were useless. You didn't contribute anything to society. But Star Trek made dreaming legitimate, and I think that was a huge, huge contribution. If you think you can experience the power of the internet on a one-inch screen, you've got to be out of your mind. People want to talk to other people, not a house, or an office, or a car. Given a choice, people will demand the freedom to communicate wherever they are, unfettered by the infamous copper wire. It is that freedom we sought to vividly demonstrate I. When you are doing one thing, talking on your phone, texting, whatever, you are automatically not doing something else. What is the greatest scarcity in the world today? It's not oil. It's time. Time is precious. Don't throw it away. We had no idea that in as little as 35 years more than half the people on earth would have cellular telephones, and they give the phones away to people for nothing. Cellular phones will absolutely not replace local wire systems. If you ask me what the most important thing in my life is, it's learning. If you want people to think out of the box, you shouldn't create the box in the first place. The biggest innovation of all is social networking, and cellular technology is the facilitator for social networking. People are mobile, social networking is people, and the only way people connect with each other is wirelessly. Every two and a half years, Every spectrum crisis has gotten solved, and that's going to keep happening.